I grew up coming here a lot. It's who I am and a part of my culture in Canada, which I think is an interesting juxtaposition as an Indo-Canadian woman. I don't think I intentionally thought, hey, Vancouver doesn't have a melting pot or like multiculturalism. I need to like shout it out in their face. But I think the journey that I've taken as a woman growing up wanting to assimilate at first in high school and trying to like change my name to the whitest name I could possibly have or dream of having blue eyes. Now I'm at a point where I'm so proud to be this brown woman and I'm so proud of my hairy arms and I'm so proud of the smell of curry that resonates on my pores when I leave the house. And I feel like those were things that might seem trivial, but back in the day, those really affected me growing up. And I think just the confidence I've gained as a woman has shifted that. And that's why I do it in the music. Waking at me for, can you see the doctor gave me more? And I don't need a phone to speak with you. I feel you through your energy in my bone. I hopped out the brain like college bye -bye. So I could teach you that plain old knowledge Like the best feeling is when I'm partying and a Hindi song comes on Like that is like a drug to me So I constantly wanted to sample Hindi music in my raps And I love hip hop culture for that reason of taking something that already exists And flipping it and giving it a whole new perspective Do your eyes burn? Are they red? Do you see everything that you said? Impact over intent, fuck what they meant, ayy, fuck what they meant, ayy. Intent under impact, running backwards, transcend. This is Crimes and Treasons, 101.9 FM, a special performance by yours truly. Maybe bust it, twist it, burn it, I just wanna be a furnace. I said bust it, twist it, burn it, I just wanna be a furnace. So I'm getting on my cheeks. Running on my shit, I'm lactose intolerant. I still be cutting checks of that motherfucking milk. It's that motherfucking pay. They got the whole truth. They filling up their motherfucking bag. It's that power. You know, I'm talking about all these things in hip hop that exist, and I'm also talking about things in my culture that exist. These are all a part of the story of being a Canadian woman. That's why I do the music I do, to show that there are infinite shades and there are infinite stories and they all hold the same weight.